Press, you press play? Yes. All right. Hell yeah. <laughs> that too. <laughs> so I thought this would be a good time to just kind of recap and talk about Basel. Us going uh, for scope and just, uh, you know, y'all first trips. This would be your third. This would be your second. Yeah, second okay. Yep. This would be probably my, what's this? First trip was in 2010. Skip three years, COVID. So probably my ninth or tenth trip. But so my first time going was a was a was a was a hell of an experience. I mean, really, there are very few black people, you know. But I did run across some heavyweights. I mean, I met, you know, uh, Kehinde there the first year, uh, Jack Whitten. Um, some collectors of note, you know, Pamela Joyner and others, but there were still very few, very few of us there. Uh, Nick Cave, and you can you can access some of the early uh, material on Black Art in America YouTube. Uh, just type in, you know, uh, Miami Art Basel. But it's changed quite a bit, and we played a role in that. Uh, but you know, what are y'all looking forward to for this upcoming this upcoming uh, venture down in Miami? Uh, you know, looking forward to, to curating, you know, works by artists we believe in at Scope and just interacting with the public and, you know, seeing what they think, seeing which works they're going to uh, connect with and want to take with them. Also seeing where, uh, where the work ends up uh, by the end of the fair mm -hmm. and, you know, just being down in, in Miami and just, you know, seeing what, what other, you know, galleries and artists are doing. Oh, yeah. For sure. For sure. What about you? Yeah, I'd say, you know, uh, on a similar vein, but also, you know, I, I also just want to go and see and kind of experience what's, because, you know, it's always what's happening in the contemporary art world now. So it's always cool to really, you know, see what's happening, how things are progressing, mm -hmm. uh, how different artists are moving. And so, you know, that thing as well as hopefully, you know, making a lot of connections that can help, you know, us, you know, fulfill the artists that we represent further? Yeah, yeah. I think for me, it's um, while we participated in a number of things in Miami during Basel, uh, and we've also produced a number of things in Miami during this period, um, this is our first international art fair mm -hmm. that we're taking, taking, taking part in. You know, it's a tremendous investment, but, you know, we're excited to present the work in a, in a fair that's getting curators, museum professionals, collectors from all over the world, and uh, just just seeing how they buy, man, seeing how they roll, you know, how they respond to the work that we're offering. We feel really good about it. And so um, that's what I'm most interested in um, uh, myself. But, you know, I'm also interested in, in, in seeing, seeing, seeing my guys do their thing, man. Y'all down there, you know, a lot has changed since y'all last, particularly your last trip with us. You know, I don't know. When was the last time you went down there? Was it 2019? Was it 2019? You said? Okay, so it's changed. It's changed some, but now I would say a lot more from maybe the first year you went, which would have been what, like 2017, maybe 15. It's been a while, like 2015. Yeah, yeah. So you know, it's gonna be cool to see a lot of our contemporaries and people in the field to reconnect. That's the cool thing about uh, going down there. It's like a family reunion. So. But we're gonna be posted up and I would like to do more, you know, more of this kind of talking about like some of the things, maybe some of the things we remember most. Maybe we can just do that right now. What do you what do you what 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 are some of your memories you remember most in being down there? Uh I'll say what I remember most are two things, right? One, <laughs> I remember I felt like everybody knew you <laughs> when we was down there. Like we was walking down random streets and like, hey now these people would pull up and hey Najee. Okay. So that was cool. And also, um, the thing I'll say I remember most is kind of like the feeling. Um, it was, um, I think I told Farron about it. He, he called it being arted out. But I felt like, you know, when you see so much art of mm -hmm. like a certain caliber at a time, you know, it's a, it's, you have like, you know, the span of the fair, the, the fifth and the tenth to try to digest it. But a lot of times it takes, you know, maybe some weeks after that to really digest all the things that and all the you know the artwork that you're experiencing. Mm -hmm. Um and I don't know. It's it's that's another that's one thing I'm kinda of looking forward to. I think I think it's gonna be different too though, because when you went, 
you were still in you were still in in, in, in school mm -hmm. as an art student. Yeah. You know, you're still trying to figure a lot of things out. And not to say that you figured them out, but you're, you know, almost a year and a half removed from that. You know, you've been selling work, you've been showcasing, you've been, you know, an integral part of the gallery and working with artists and presenting the work. So um that's that's gonna be the interesting part, you know. Mm -hmm. Is because uh, I know I, I I could feel your wheels turning when, <laughs> when we was when we was leaving in terms of like damn you know what am I going to do and you know <laughs> I've seen seen you get back in the studio and start to rework and rethink some things and so uh, it's it's always going to have some type of impact on us so it's gonna be it's gonna be cool to see what that impact looks like you know afterwards what about you I would I would say uh, some of my greatest Bible memories were you know just. First of all, just being down there in Miami with all of these, you know, thousands of people, thousands and thousands of people that are excited about contemporary art. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just really in it and committed enough to travel to see work and to, to just kind of check the temperature on, you know, what's going on in the contemporary art world. Mm -hmm. And also just meeting people like meeting Kehinde Wiley. Mm -hmm. um, I caught up with Fahungu down there the first year I went. Um, I met Swiss Beats and I saw his uh, No Commission exhibit mm. and, you know, just being, you know, in all of these, you know, cool places with, you know, mostly like minded people that appreciate art and and just just enjoying the ambiance. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's dope. Uh, I don't know, man. I've got I've got so many years that I've gone down there. I think, uh, you know, it, it's going to it's. It's gonna be bittersweet in the sense that you know a number of the people who rolled with us early on, you know, they're no longer with us. Think about R. I think about Eugene. Yeah. You know, Eugene was at the last one I, I was at in twenty. We was at in twenty nineteen, and so you know it's bittersweet in that sense. Um, you know, I think about the Do You Basel campaign. I think about the growth and 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 of interest and in work by Black artists over time. Um, you know. I remember some of the some of our colleagues who, you know, some of their first Basel experiences and where they were within the marketplace and where they are now, mm -hmm. you know, like shit, these artists are rich. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, but uh, and and we're and, and we're extremely excited about their success. But you know, these international art fairs have really changed the game, and uh, you know, we want to you know take part in that too. So it's it's an exciting time. So y'all pull up, come see us at Scope. Come see what we're doing um, and just come hang with us. Um, and I would just say, you know, that's, that's, that's about it, man. That's about it. Do you Basel? Do you Basel? <laughs> Do you Basel?